the Prowler. Halloween is usually a fun, joyous time of year in most towns and cities across the country. Families taking the children trick-or-treating, parties, haunted houses, just good old Halloween fun. But not here. Not in my town. In my town of Black Falls, Halloween is a dangerous day. A day you should fear and stay inside if you knew what was good for you. There's a serial killer that stalks the streets of our town, but they only kill on Halloween. For the past ten years, this killer takes two or three victims every Halloween night. There's never been any leads or clues left behind of who this killer might be. They may be a local or an outsider who stalks our neighborhood streets. The police continue to urge the citizens of our town to stay inside and not go out. But people continue not to listen. The streets aren't as packed as they once were, but you'll still see people and families venture out into the night to have their Halloween fun. Chief Reynolds and the town elders urge you all, please, stay inside this Halloween night. And if you're forced to venture outside your homes, please do so in groups or in pairs. Next up, the weather. But first, an update on a story we had for you last night. The disappearance of a local couple that were last seen leaving a Halloween party, but haven't been seen or heard from since. Their car was discovered alongside Jefferson Road, approximately 10 miles from their home. If you have any information, please contact the police station immediately. You will not be forced to give your name or address. <laughs> they still have no fucking clue who I am. You too, I'm afraid, aren't long for this world. Horrible luck for you, but excellent luck for me. Here I was, sitting in my car. Wondering if I should start up my Halloween fun early this year. And I spot you two. Pulling to the side of the road. Drunk. And about to have some naughty fun. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that Halloween party. Because it's going to be your last. Quiet. Stop your whimpering. That won't help you now. Take comfort in the fact that you two won't be the only victims on this Halloween. It's going to be my most gruesome of them all. Once again, it's time for this town to say hello to the Halloween Ripper. <laughs> The Pumpkin Man. Have fun outside! My wife yelled to our children as they ran out the front door. And be careful! I shouted after them. We were all a little on edge since kids had been going missing around the area recently. Not in our neighborhood, of course. Mostly the poorer sections of town. The sound of the bell atop the Pumpkin Man's truck could be heard outside, and I breathed a sigh of relief. My wife looked visibly less concerned as well. The pumpkin man was so familiar around here, he was almost like a good neighbor you could trust to babysit. I felt safer having him around when the kids were out playing. He'd look out for them. Stay close to the pumpkin man's truck, my wife called from the door. The kids were already at his window, where he was showing them pumpkins of various sizes and shapes, gesticulating like a stage magician. He waved at us, smiling, his odd orange-hued eyes glinting in the sun. My wife and I closed the front door and went inside to watch television. We had an episode of Survivor on the DVR we'd been meaning to watch. Are they finally gone? Christine asked. Yes, baby, they're gone. It's probes time. 
We clicked on the television and smiled, letting our eyes unfocus as we stared at the flickering lights on the screen, telling us a story. The next morning, the kids were gone. My wife said she thought they'd spent the night at a friend's house, but they hadn't mentioned anything to me about it. She checked the calendar on her phone and her eyes widened. Wait, the sleepover isn't until tomorrow night. So where the hell are the kids? I shouted, rising to my feet in a panic. I don't know. I don't know. My wife was screaming. We ran outside, hoping maybe somehow, miraculously, they were out there playing in the front yard, just as we'd seen them last. But when we got out there, all we saw were more grown-ups, weeping and calling out, their eyes searching the street. Billy! Jesse! Sally! Where are you? But there was no answer until the tickling sound of the pumpkin man's truck began to sing, and he came up the street towards us. The head of every child in the neighborhood was arranged on the windowsill of his truck, like soda cans on display for purchase. Ah, finally, he said as he braked to a stop. Finally, some adults I can sell to. I hate kids. They never have any money. But grown-ups, that's where the action is. I tried to say something, to scream or do anything, but I was frozen, staring at the faces of my children. My children's heads were moving and rocking back and forth, making agonizing howls of pain, despite having no bodies. They were still alive somehow. Okay now, who wants to buy their favorite pumpkin? We'll start the bidding at 10000 I would like to give a heartfelt thank you to the special friends of the channel for your overwhelming generosity. If you would like to support the channel, the link is below in the description. Also, Please send me your stories and poems to duchessofdarkness27 at gmail.com. You can also find me on Instagram at duchess.ofdarkness and Twitter at duchessofdarkn2. I want to thank all my listeners for your kindness, your encouragement, and your support. It means the world to me. Thank you for joining me. Until next time.